Bursa Malaysia recently launched an environmental, social and governance or ESG reporting platform for listed issuers to submit disclosures as per the exchange's enhanced sustainability reporting requirements. CEO Dr. Muhammad Umar Swift discusses what the platform entails and how it impacts the country's overall sustainability goals. Designed to allow... Uh PLCs to report and meet their reporting requirements as stipulated in Bursa listing rules. Um, it is linked to Bursa Link, which is the tool that we use. So it's really to make things easier for PLCs, as seamless if you like. Um, it was also, uh, when we launched the platform, we also introduced uh, illustrative um, sustainable reporting guide or ISR, we like acronyms. And ISR is actually a series of um, resources, uh, video learning, where we actually share with PLCs steps and what they can do and actually start their journey towards a better, more sustainable future. We have mandated 23 disclosure points, objective disclosure points for sustainability, and it's designed to allow investors, key stakeholders, and PLCs customers to make informed decisions. So. The platform that we have launched is actually designed to allow PLCs to report. Bursa Malaysia will also be launching the Centralized Sustainability Intelligence or CSI platform this year for public listed companies and non-listed SMEs to assess their carbon emission impact. The CSI in itself is designed to assist companies in measuring their carbon footprint. It's a suite of basic products. Now, in itself, it is separate from the reporting piece. So it provides the data allowing companies to begin to aggregate the data sets. More importantly, to look at their scope one, scope two, scope three emissions. Now, there is a truism, what gets measured gets done. And so what we're looking at to do as a catalyst, an action point, to allow companies to begin to properly assess their carbon footprint on their journey uh, to sustainability. But more importantly, it begins to drive the greening of supply chains. One of the key as a trading nation, uh, some 44% of the countries we trade to have NDC targets and they have objectives around decarbonizing their economies. And as what we'll see as we trade, our trading partners will begin to ask us to show our credentials. And this is a way of beginning to measure and provide tools to allow us to measure our credentials so we can continue to trade. According to Umar, efforts taken by public listed companies to make their supply chain more green will encourage other businesses, including SMEs, to follow suit. This will bring growth to Malaysian companies and create new job opportunities for all. We anticipate PLCs as they begin to green their supply chains, and their supply chains comprise of small companies, larger companies, even other listed companies that they will require data sets. And that is the call to action for these trading partners of the PLCs to begin to calculate. But what we're also doing is working with partner banks to provide green financing and providing incentives to encourage better behavior. So if you like, for PLCs, we have mandated disclosure that requires a body of work, but that's been requested by investors uh, and also customers of the PLCs. As they, as they begin to collect that data, they will encompass their supply chain, which will include other PLCs, large companies and small companies. And we'll work in building capacity. We're particularly focused with working people such as SME Corp, uh, UN, uh, Global Compact, Malaysia and Brunei to actually bring, uh, if you like, everyone along on that journey. Uh, our philosophy is not uh, is very inclusive because at the end of the day we recognize the key role that SMEs play in supply chain and more importantly in providing employment to Malaysians. The most important piece is to begin the measurement. As we begin the measurement, it's the call to action. What's exciting as we engage PLCs that they see the opportunity that it brings to new markets and new opportunities uh, for employment and growth for Malaysian corporations. And that's what excites us because at the end of the day, Bursa Malaysia is really about growing value and creating opportunities.